you want a stylish small car and can't live without features like Bluetooth and sculpted sports seats, your shopping list should include cars like the Audi A1, the popular Mini and this, the Alfa Romeo Mito. Its bold headlights, attractive wheels and the grille dripping with heritage makes it one of the best looking super minis. We're driving the top of the range Quadrifoglio Verde hot hatch finished in a rather fetching matte magnesio grey paint job but it costs a rather pricey £20,000 while the rest of the Mito range starts from £14,000. The interior should certainly get you in the mood for a spirited drive thanks to these sporty gauges, sculpted steering wheel and a dashboard textured to look a bit like carbon fibre. We absolutely love these sculpted bucket seats made by Sarbelt, however they are a £2,000 option even on the QV model, however every time you sit in the car it does make it feel rather special. On the downsides this steering wheel does feel slightly tilted away from you as you're driving and the Mini and Audi A1 are both now available as 5 doors whereas the Mito is 3 door only. Getting in the back is a bit of a squeeze, but there's room for two average sized adults. Strangely though, Alpha charges £450 for a middle seat with its own headrest. With 270 litres of luggage space, the Mito's boot is competitively sized, equaling the A1 and beating the mini hatchback. It's not perfect though, with this high loading lip making it awkward to lift heavier items over it. The rear seats do however flip forwards, increasing capacity to 950 litres. Alfa Romeo has a long history of building cars with a sporting edge, and despite the Mito being a humble super mini, it does still have quite firm suspension, particularly in this QV version. There's not much body roll and lots of grip, so it certainly feels planted through corners. The range starts with 105 horsepower twin air petrol and also includes a 1.3 and 1.6 litre diesel, the most economical of which is capable of returning up to 80 mpg. This Quadrifoglio Verde has a 1.4 litre turbocharged petrol pumping out just under 170 horsepower and that can get it from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a brisk 7.3 seconds. Despite being the hot hatch version it can still officially reach 52 mpg if you drive sensibly. However we've only been seeing high 30s to low 40s during this test so we must have been enjoying the car a little bit too much. Every Mito is fitted with a DNA selector, switching the car between dynamic, natural and all weather modes and it really does make a big difference to the level of throttle response and also the weight of the steering. We'd prefer it though if you could choose these traits individually as we'd rather like to have the sharp throttle but with a lighter, less artificially weighted steering feel. If you're after an attractive, safe and cheap to run Super Mini the Alfa Romeo Mito should certainly be on your shopping list. The one sticking point with the Quadrifoglio Verde is most likely to be its £20,000 price tag, which is a few grand more than faster models like the Fiesta ST and Renault Sport Clio. But neither of those cars feel quite as premium as the Mito, and on price it is far closer to the Mini and A1. Which one you choose will more than likely come down to your personality. You could go for the tight handling Mini, the upmarket Audi or the Italian flair of this Mito. But what do you think of the Alfa Romeo Mito? Leave a comment below and for more videos like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button. To watch reviews of its rivals click the links at the end of the video.